Hello, my name is Marco Moreno, and I'm a high school student in this year's SEMI program. And my name is Edgar Felix, and I'm a returning undergrad with Dr. Runyon's lab. This year, we both had the privilege in working in Dr. Runyon's lab, where we worked on an experiment with two parts to help aid him in his research and also to get evidence for a grant he needs to continue the important work. In specific, we're working with calcific aortic valve disease, a disease that may affect people as they age. And although there's a solution to the problem, that is to get a heart valve replacement, these heart valves only tend to last about five to 10 years before they calcify. This is where Dr. Runyon's lab comes in. Our general lab question is, are there any treatments to stop or slow the progression of aortic calcific valve disease? There are several people in our lab that are working on different projects, but we're all aiming for the same goal. For a specific project, we have two parts for it. First, we're checking for something called enzyme activity. An enzyme is basically a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction produced by a living organism. The enzyme that we'll be testing is derived from a human and is called CD73. The second part to our project is something called cross-linking. This means that we will be using a reagent that will attach itself to two different things, one being the artificial heart valve membrane and the other the enzyme CD73. The cross-linking reagent consists of molecules with two or more reactive ends that are capable of reacting with other molecules. The end goal of our project is to connect both the enzyme activity and cross-linking parts. There must be active CD73 activity before we can cross-link. Our project is very important because it helps prove that CD73 found in humans does play a role in the development and treatment of calcific aortic valve disease. In conclusion, after conducting our research, some of the questions that arose are, one, are there any other different ways to approach finding a cure or treatment for calcific aortic valve disease? And also, can our research be used to treat other valvular heart diseases? Some of my questions are, what causes the calcification of the aortic valve? And how does CD73 slow calcification? 